Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about The Girlfriend by R.L. Stein. No, I'm not really. I'm going to be talking about um, Fortune Smiles by Adam Johnson. So this is a book of short stories, and this is the first thing I read by him, but I hear he's really good. These stories are very good. Uh, they're very sad, very thoughtful um, character pieces. Each one's kind of a character piece, and there's kind of recurring themes throughout them, mainly about, you know, how people live and the things that affect us and the decisions we make and how they affect our lives and everything. Um, they're very human. There's very there's a humane aspect to all these stories. Um, even characters who ordinarily wouldn't be considered sympathetic or treated as like real people with gray areas and uh, complexity like real human beings like uh, one character is the former uh, administrator to a, a torture prison in Germany for for uh, the fall of uh, that whole thing um, and he's treated as a real person he's a father and a former husband and he looks at that more as a job as opposed to just you know I want to torture people um, there's another character in these stories who is a pedophile and he doesn't want to be he doesn't like that he has this attraction but he can't help it and he act actively tries to uh, rid himself of you know pornography or any kind of like temptation and um and honestly like is sickened by his own desire for that so these yes, very very sad very interesting character stories um I, it's the first thing, like I said, it's the first thing I read by Adam Johnson. It makes me want to read other things by him. Uh, specifically, The Orphan Master's Son, because I hear that's a fantastic novel. So, I would highly recommend Fortune Smiles. Definitely check it out. Um, I'll talk more about it, but I really don't want to give anything away. There's These stories are very interesting. They're very sad and emotional. I felt like crying when I was reading them. They touched me on a deep level. So, I just wanted to give a quick little video about this. And, um, while it wasn't the campy schlock of the girlfriend, it was definitely some entertaining and very thought provoking and emotional writing. So, anyway, just wanted to do a video on that. And I will be back later with another one. So, catch you guys later. Bye.